What's going on everybody? Doc, Average Grammar Guys, back again. Escape series. Let's get to it. Quick intro here. We're going to try to get our last marker down. We need to put this marker for BP Depot down by the trailer park over by Big Red. So we're going to try to get this down, get this task complete, and then continue on. In addition, we're going to look for <laughs> some gas analyzers. We're also going to try to get our scavs killed here. And I just want to keep clicking through, like I said, the next big push for us is to work towards and see what we can get done to move towards our Epsilon container and get some extra room here. So that's what we're gonna try to do. You can see how we're going in here. We're taking the Baby Mosin, one of my favorites. In addition to that, I'm gonna bring a pistol. Um, one to just kind of mix it up a little bit. I wanna continue to work on our sniper skill, which we are sitting at uh, a little ways into two, which is not bad. I wanna continue to try to level this up. So it'll be good to try to kill the scavs on customs with this if we get into an intense pvp fight we also still have our broken arm so we're gonna see if we can hit some headshots with that i've got a nice fn pistol that hopefully we can get some stirrup kills as well so if we find ourselves in a good position we might be able to pick up a few things here all at once we'll see what happens after that we still want to do a few things i've got a couple of dailies not a whole lot that i want to do here and obviously we'll go run a scav see if we can make some money let's try to knock out bp depot Without further ado, we'll jump in. See you in the red. All right, customs, here we go. I really hope we get the trailer park spawn. That way we can, uh, perfect. The Tarkov, Nikita is smiling down upon me. What if I would have forgotten marker? <laughs> that would have been terrible. I'll hold here for a minute. Nine and nine. Not much else we need to do here besides kill scavs, and obviously if we can get some player kills. We need player headshots. So. I need pistol kills too. What's really interesting, if I could get a pistol headshot on a player with this broken arm, we're getting like three things done. I really don't have any space to... I should kind of just push the PvP. Ooh, push the PvP. Excuse my... my burpiness. Oh, hello? I wanted those? Actually, a decent high tam. What is inside there?
Yeah. Did I just see him? Holy shit. Well, <clears throat> let's see all what we just got done there. Tarkov shooter is done. <laughs> I got a stirrup kill. And I got a <laughs> shot. <gasps> oh no. I gotta get the hell out of here. I'm so fucked up now. Tarkov shooter being done is fantastic. Look at that. Quest progress. Yes. This is more quest progress we've had in a while. Oh my god. I didn't think there was two. And I'm pretty sure this guy thought I was a scav. I, I definitely headshot the first guy, like, without a doubt. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, now we have two broken limbs. I need to leave because I don't, uh... I'm going to just drain energy here. Jesus. This guy was geared. <sighs> oh, wow. What a lifesaver this guy is. This guy has literally everything I need. He had to have had. This guy, <clears throat> whenever I see something like this, it definitely makes me believe very strongly that, um, like that guy found some items or something that he needed. Because it doesn't make sense to keep all of this stuff in his, um, in his bag. Nice RPK, too. Oh, if only we had a CMS kit. We're just going to energy up. We'll water up.
I got everything from him, yeah, right? Okay. This guy gave me new guy vibes. Yeah. Jesus. Change part is I can't take both the guns. I'd rather have this. Half mask. This guy's got a four to shift on here. Really wish I could take this. I could. I two tap this guy in the chest. ends up being the crappy part is uh it's, a, it's not rpk is a solid gun actually we just got to get out of here because of the black stomach black stomach and black leg try to maybe get our other headshot here if we run into any players That was a, a lucky hip fire headshot, I will say. One thing I could try to do is at Crack House. <laughs> RPK sounds pretty mean, unsilenced. May want to just check for a few more scavs. I just really want to get out. We've got some solid stuff. I like this M. Was this the M1 or M2? M1 rig. I like the M1 rig. I can never remember what which one's which. Just kind of checking for any more scavs. Any easy scav kills. I am gonna go crack house here. Our best bet to get out is probably uh, old gas if it's open. We heard some shots at stronghold. I need a surge kit. Whew. I'm happy with that fight. <clears throat> feels like... Feels like we've struggled a little bit with the PvP on this account as of late, so... Nice to show we still got it. I 
have to be on the lookout for food here and meds. ZB14 key is fantastic. We definitely want that. See if we can get a surge kit. We need to get our stomach and our. My fact would be good. Stomach and our leg up. Stomach's honestly probably even a little bit more vital than the leg. But just with how fast we're draining energy. There he is, right there. Thought I hit him in the head. Dang it, man. I'm not sure if my recording was good for that. Um, that guy ended up getting a headshot on us. I don't know if, uh, again, that ended up coming through. I, I saw some OBS issues as I was finishing that up. We did get one. I'm a little... Mm, a little irked that we didn't uh, quite finish that out the other thing is we have to survive customs so we need to go back the good part here is tarkov shooter part three is done so we get that knocked out we open up tarkov shooter uh number four and we are working our way towards level three which is good so we should be able to just keep clicking away with that we got the one headshot i really thought i headshot that guy I think they react maybe a little bit quicker, and I think we could have got it. If we could have got the pistol kill, we could have got the pistol headshot, and we could have got one one step closer to stir up here. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do the same thing though. I think that's not a bad. I've I've uh, I think I talked about this previously, but I've used a very similar strategy here. Just want to see if we have any pistolas. I have garage mags. 
gonna take that, the golden star, maybe an actual splint, and probably a few of these. We'll get the garage, and I'm gonna, I'm again gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go sniper, pistol, and we'll see what we can turn it into. So we'll see in the raid. All right, <clears throat> we gotta survive the customs. I'm so, I just man. Mm. I wonder if we, we of course have to go in here. Could have used this last time. I also wish I would have finished popping that painkiller. I think uh, that puts us in a little bit of a different position if we're able to get that done. We just need to survive here, so. I don't know that we need to go too crazy can obviously still kill some scavs, which would be good. if I hit that guy I got like some lag there when he was like moving out in the open I really was gonna try to line that headshot up unfortunate thoraxed me I did hit him I had to have hit him with that Mosin shot M4. How many M4 bullets did it take? He hit me five times. That seems a little... That just seems a little decent key to me. Three in the thorax and two in the arm. I don't... It is what it is. Alright. Away we go again. See you in the raid. Let's see. Like, there's really good opportunities for PvP here. Close that so that nobody knows I'm in here.
<sighs> really just need to survive. This is kind of a cheeky spot to hold, I feel like. I feel like it'd almost be impossible to see from right here. Anybody pushes through there? We're gonna go up anyways. We're gonna look for the intel. Two man. Contemplating the push. a scab there. <clears throat> oh, Piers, move up quick. Again, headshot again, I guess. We just can't. Hmm. That first PvP, first PvP fight, I jinxed it. It went so good. These last two. I just wouldn't have expected that guy to hear me. I'm thinking maybe he was up in, I call that little mini scale, that little small tower, maybe up there. I just didn't see him. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Head eyes, of course.
I didn't again I didn't think they were that uh didn't didn't you know they look re decently geared they didn't look super super geared hard to say hard to say I think I obviously he saw me and uh I just I'd be surprised if he went up into the tower you know all right so PvP still sort of not going our direction here started out good ending up not so great um I think I think we just do the scav I think let's just go do our scav um see what that turns into see if we can make a little bit of money we are getting a little low so let's go there got a pack uh I think we have a backpack on we'll go interchange give it a run see you in red all right looks like we are in with our awesome helmet 20 minutes Mm. I'd really like to get that last player headshot. I think getting that task done would be would be good. Obviously, if we can get stir up there. Yo, you didn't find any small beef too, did you? I did not. Sorry. No, you're good. Watch it over there by Idea and Ali. There's a lot of shooting going on over there. Sounds good, man. Thanks. Honestly, I was kind of thinking that might be a player and he was just going to kill me. I'm going to go to Idea and Ollie. I'm going to pick up some player scraps. Last time we did our interchange run on our uh, on our scav, we, we shot a few people in the head and didn't kill them, so... <laughs> what it turns into this looks like it's all been cleaned out maybe they're fighting Killa and then I can clean up Killa there's some bolty bolties That. Yeah. Take that. Look at that nice red and orange shoulder. Player scav. <laughs> A 
what do we have here? Ну чё, пацанчики? Ну-ка, блядь, все сюда ко мне. I'm kind of hoping the scab dies. I'm not that lucky, though. I feel like this is probably good enough for me. Just top up a few things. Beautiful. Good enough. Let's go. This is a pretty nice SIG. The problem ends up being is I don't think we can run it. You really have to run the AP ammo, I feel like, in this gun, so... We've got a couple of things that'll sell decent. And that slash we might need. You just kind of do, we'll do a hideout progress kind of check here. So we get out of here. Put this on that. No. Cool, got a, got a hat, a nice hat on. This is a pretty nice gun. I'm wondering how this level 19 got this. It's like a better one. That way it sells. But all right. <clears throat> I think we take a win here on our Scavatron. At least a little something. All right, pretty quick raid. Like I said, nothing, nothing super great, but this is a nice gun. Good attachments. Um... Like I said, I think we're going to struggle to use it because of ammo availability. But... We at least... I'm sure we'll find a use for it. If not, we just sell it. And it is what it is. We'll make some money off of it. All right, so all in all, we uh, we sold off most of it. I did end up keeping a couple of the attachments. The B25 is really good. I also kept this suppressor. This SRD 76762 is actually really, really good. It's one of the better sound suppressors. Uh, in addition with the T-lock and this, uh, this muzzle brake on top of it, it makes for a really, really nice package. So I hung on to that because that can be relatively expensive. We hung on to a few additional things that we need here from a uh, just a barter item perspective we could sell the bolts we could sell the hose uh we could sell all that stuff actually for a decent amount but we're gonna need some so i'm just gonna hold on to them at this point i want to do a quick check here on where we're sitting as far as hideout progress and see if there's anything that we could look to do i think what's holding us back right now mostly is just uh continued progress with some of our traders i think is going to be the big thing we need to get water collector too 
which I think we're waiting on a few other things. We need workbench. I need to get Jaeger up. And I think in order to get workbench, I need gunsmith to not gunsmith. I, I need mechanic to which is going to be some gunsmith tasks in addition to a handful of items here. So um, we'll keep making some progress. I really should probably look at doing the first gunsmith task now that we have uh, now that we have this open. Let me look to see. I'm going to take a quick pause. Let's see if we can get that built really fast. Okay, so jumping back in really quick, here is the build, and this should actually work for us. I'm going to just very greedily take the ammo, <laughs> the ammo out of it because we can sell the ammo for some money. <clears throat> but uh, here's the build. You can do this a few different ways. This At this point in the wipe did not take a lot, so if you're level 15 or above and you haven't really started your gunsmith task, a lot of this stuff is going to be way cheaper than it is at the beginning, so feel free to go to the flea market. Um, I probably spent, I don't know, 50k on this and the reason for that is the pistol grip uh this actually i could buy uh the rail and the gk02 were the two things that i couldn't if you level up jaeger and a couple of others you can uh but these both things probably cost me like 35k excuse me between the two um but that's how it's sitting so you need just a standard, essentially 133 shotgun. You put this, uh, you put this rail on it, this custom plastic foregrip rail. You put a, a laser device and an RKO6 on it. That gives you essentially the ergonomics and, and the recoil control you need. You've got to have this plastic pistol grip. Um, and I said pistol grip, I meant foregrip here. You need this cylinder and then obviously the GKO2 muzzle adapter and you are all set to go. Just also remember, if you pick this up off of a scab, you have to repair it and it has to be above 60 durability. So we're at 68, this should work. Let's actually go ahead, we'll get this turned in, make some money, actually make a decent little chunk of money. And then the nice part ends up being is we get a few additional things and we can do some farming. So we can head to factory, we get some tool sets placed. We'll probably do that here in the very near future. I'm gonna go ahead and sell some stuff off bring some of our cash back and then just make sure to make sure that we claim all this. You get an AKS 74U to start, which is good. You also get some AP ammo, which we will definitely be putting to use here. The nice part for this ends up being is this is a good way. VPO is another good weapon to level sniper skill because it's a bolt action rifle. So we'll probably put like a PK-06 or actually probably one of these optics. I really like this bad boy on this thing and uh, see what we can get done. Gosh, my nose is itching. See what we can get done from that perspective. Um, would be really good. The problem with AP ammo is bad recoil. The worst part is 28% lack of accuracy. So if you're going to do any real long range shooting with this, strongly, strongly recommend using like EKO or something else, different round uh, for the VPO, just because that accuracy loss is tough. But AP is fantastic if you're just trying to go and bully some players and, and do some thorax shots. So um, we'll wrap it up here. Not bad, good first fight. We won some PVP. We couldn't win our PVP interactions after that. Decent scav, but we're able to get a little bit of quest progress. We did get quite quite a good amount of quest progress for only, uh, only having a little bit of success. We just got to survive customs to get BP Depot done. We did really not kill only but one or two scavs, I think there. Um, we did get a stirrup kill, which is fantastic and we got one of the two tremor effect headshots that we need so hopefully we can get that knocked out and uh, grab our couple of pistol kills as well and maybe we just go you know what do i just do this right now got the tool sets i've got a pistol now nah, we'll save it for the next time pistol in the factory tool set action is gonna be coming up next <laughs> on uh on the series so we'll save it again quick plug here like comment subscribe thanks for all the support hope you enjoyed the videos this week and as always more coming next week uh hopefully if you didn't check it out already and you're a fan of this series we posted a video on wednesday that i think is a took some time um and i actually really like how it turned out give it a watch give it a watch you can't miss it if you just click on the channel and check our videos out so Go give that a watch. We would really appreciate it. Share it because I think it's a good conversation to have with folks, especially if they're getting into Tarkov. They haven't played in a while. Perspective is really important. So 
go give that a go give that a view for me and a click i would really appreciate it in addition flash some socials twitter twitch discord tiktok we stream over on twitch links in the description like i said give us some follows on our socials come hang out with us live we're gonna be doing that this weekend for sure labor day weekend for us here in the united states which means monday is off football is starting up college football very excited about that so i'm gonna be hanging out having a good time and uh, definitely streaming some tarkov so swing on over we'd love to see you with all that being said i am the doc and we are the average gamer guys thanks for watching catch you next escape episode peace